Welcome abroad to the Meta Instincts channel. In the previous episode, we discussed the defensive flagship setup in Sea of Conquest. We will continue the discussion on the damage type and share some exciting news about Paxify. To better understand the hero combo in Sea of Conquest, it's crucial to comprehend the five types of hero damage available in the game. These include Blazing Drowning Strategic, Artillery, and Cutthroat. Additionally, the ship's cannon inflicts a basic damage type. However, only one hero, Magnus, a defensive hero, can also deal with basic damage from his active skill. Don't be confused by the damage type because they work the same. Suppose special effects come with a skill, such as burning from blazing, taking on water from drowning, and the number of targets. In that case, the description will always state them clearly. While some players believe that artillery damage deals bonus damage against ports, sentries, and sea monsters, no in-game description supports this claim. Therefore, we'll only explain what we see in the game as a reference. Blazing and drowning damage have a lower attack percentage than other types, but they have additional damage over time. For example, compared to Boa who deals up to 264% strategic damage to three ships, Luster deals up to 191% blazing damage to three ships. Although Boa appears to have a higher damage rate, this is different when considering the damage over time. Lester can apply 1 to 3 stacks of burning status to the target, which causes 10% of his attack per second for 8 seconds. This burning status can deal another 80% to 240% over 8 seconds. Therefore, Lester's total damage will range from 271% to 431%, higher than Boa's. Drowning damage works similarly to blazing. For instance, Barnacle deals up to 77% of drowning damage to three ships and inflicts two stacks of taking on water status to the targets. Taking on water deals 20% of his attack over 5 seconds, which will inflict 200% for two stacks overall. Thus, Barnacle can deal with up to 277% of total damage. Strategic damage is relatively straightforward. It deals with what it states without complex calculations and is easy to compare. For example, Griffin deals up to 264% strategic damage to 5 ships, and Molly deals up to 425% to a single ship with their active skills. A seasonal hero like Griffin may cost over 300 US dollars from the Himkonk bundles, but we get them for only 225 US dollars, thanks to the sponsor of this video, Paxify. Paxify is a Discord community with over 10,000 members that saved players over 4.1 million dollars over the last 3 years. And guess what? They're launching an app that makes getting discounts effortless. It will be launched in April. It's the first specialized app, and the Paxify team has prepared special bonuses for our community. Here's why we're excited. Enjoy an additional 15% savings on top of regular discounts for a limited time. Test the service with 500 credits, no credit card is required. VIP status on both the app and Discord. Beta players can look forward to extra perks, be the best and receive extra rewards as a trophy. If you're leading an alliance or playing at a very high level, expect special offers tailored to make your team even stronger. The app brings things to the next level with features like a two-click sign-up, real-time order tracking, human support, reordering in just three clicks, and one currency for all games. The spots are limited, so don't miss out. Hit the link in the description to join the waiting list and secure your exclusive perks. Play smarter with Paxify. On the other hand, artillery damage usually deals less damage than strategic damage. Still, it always comes with damage enhancement effects that benefit all artillery damage heroes. For instance, Ophelia can deal up to 132% of his attack on 5 ships, which is relatively lower than Griffin's strategic damage. However, the hit targets will be possessed and receive 20% more artillery damage, which every artillery hero can benefit from. In other words, the possessed buff enhances each artillery hero's damage by 20%. Chi Lanting and Oscar can also enhance the artillery damage from the same ship. Thus, artillery heroes work best in cooperation. The more we have, the better. Finally, Cutthroat damage deals with the highest damage among the damage types and usually targets a single ship. For example, Bones can deal up to 367% to a ship and another 183% if the target has less than 50% HP. Luna and Lord Kojo will always target the ship with the lowest HP. With their high damage output, they can ignore the flagship and quickly eliminate the smaller ships. This makes them effective at breaking the meta lineup that relies on the flagship to tank for the smaller ships. Heroes We have grouped the heroes with a firepower tag under the damage type. 
From here, we can build any specific damage type ship by choosing the heroes of the same type. For instance, if you want to build an artillery ship, you can look for these heroes. Legendary is always the best choice because they are stronger than purple and blue heroes. For example, we pick Griffin Boa and Molly for our strategic ship. Although cutthroat damage is substantial, only two legendary cutthroat heroes, Luna and Bones, are available up to S3. Thus, we can only have a full legendary cutthroat lineup once the developer releases a cutthroat first mate. Drowning and Blazing always work together and deliver damage over time. Even though they are different types of damage, they share the same buff under damage over time. For example, that is a Blazing Dealer, his second skill increases the damage over time by 10%, benefiting the Drowning Heroes simultaneously. Alright, it is the end of the damage type sharing. We will cover more in-depth details on the heroes for each ship in the coming episode. Please subscribe and stay tuned. I'm Alan from Meta Instincts. See you soon.